Well, I just did a Tom and Jerry review yesterday, and I thought this would be the perfect time for me to do a creepypasta based on the Gene D.H. series. For many parts of the story, I thought it was pretty realistic since I know the bizarreties of how the Gene version of Tom and Jerry was produced and what changes were made in those 13 shorts. I do find it unbelievable, though, that Gene would produce a final short and make it so detailed in the realms of Uncanny. I mean, apparently Clint Clover, you know, Tom Sawyer, has murdered numerous people and has hidden the bodies in his basement, which is why he doesn't want Tom to go anywhere near the basement door. Also, although Jerry goes much more mischievous in the Gene shorts, he is downright heinous in this last episode, to the point that he actually murders both Clint and Tom at the end, and is apparently planning to do this again with other tenants later on. Damn, Jerry. So while this isn't the best Lost Episode pasta out there, at the very least it connected very well with the bizarre nature of the Gene Shorts. Well, for the most part. The 13 Tom and Jerry shorts made by the Czechoslovian director Gene Dietsch are infamous for their poor quality and rather disturbing nature, featuring badly done sound effects and animation and having a more realistic feel to the violence. Some have speculated that Dietsch didn't like the concept behind Tom and Jerry and was pressured into making them, and wanted to make the people who watched his take on it feel bad for liking the concept. What many people don't know is that D.H. was originally signed on to make more than the 13 episodes that the public has access to. Desperate to get out of his contract, D.H. made one more Tom and Jerry short that few have ever seen. The short was called Tom's Basement. It opened with Tom in a typical Tom and Jerry house. His owner was the fat, angry guy from the other D.H. shorts. Tom's owner seemed angrier than his other appearances. The first scene is him stomping on Tom's tail in a very realistic and painful looking way because Tom is sleeping by the basement door. The owner yells at Tom to never go down there. Tom is clearly terrified and wants Ray to another room. Our view stays in the room by the basement door and we see Jerry come out of a mouse hole. He looks truly grotesque, far more off model than the other D at shorts. He gets an evil look on his face and follows Tom to the next room. The next few minutes are fairly formulaic. Jerry repeatedly manages to trick Tom into chasing him to the basement door a few times, but each time the owner catches Tom, he inflicts a painful looking injury on him, which stays with Tom even after the scene ends. After three beams, Tom is bruised all over, bleeding at a few places, and limping on a broken leg. After this, Tom starts to literally beg Jerry not to bother him anymore. He's not really talking, but he's crying and mumbling, and you can tell what he's doing by his body language. Jerry just laughs at him and pushes him back to the basement door. The owner catches Tom again and goes ballistic. The camera zooms in on his face. It changes color and distorts as he yells at Tom in a much louder voice than any other sound in the cartoon. I can't post much of what he said on here, but it's definitely vicious and furious. It seems that Jerry has finally decided to take some pity on Tom though. Jerry picks up a knife that was lying around and stabs the owner in the leg, quite graphically. Tom opens the basement door, and they carry the owner's body down the stairs. There are dozens of other bodies down there, decaying and showing signs of their violent deaths. Tom and Jerry shake hands, and it seems that they have triumphed over the serial killer. But Jerry gets an evil look in his face again, and Tom says in that ghostly deep voice, Don't you believe it? Jerry stabs Tom, killing him, and throws his body into the pile. The last shot is Jerry putting up a for sale sign on the yard of the house, laughing, clearly planning to do it all again. 